Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to fire breathe. This is actually a lot less dangerous than you think it is because traditional fire breathing uses a liquid fuel, which is really dangerous because it can travel back into your mouth and light your mouth on fire. But what we're using is cornstarch. Cornstarch is actually really hard to get to catch on fire. It only lights when it's suspended in a cloud and each particle has enough oxygen to let it combust. So when you're breathing it out, it's not gonna light until it's spread out enough and it's also not gonna travel back down into your mouth. And so pretty much how it works is you take a big scoop, put it in your mouth, blow it out over a flame and it's gonna catch on fire. The main thing to watch for, the most dangerous part is actually breathing in the cornstarch. So when you put it in your mouth, don't breathe, hold your breath. If you have to, breathe through your nose. Um, and then blow it out and make sure not to take a deep breath right away. Breathe through your nose afterwards and it turns into this gross oobleck, non-Newtonian fluid stuff in your mouth, which is really hard to get out. So you'll probably spend like a minute just like spinning that stuff out and swishing it around. Okay, for the torch, I like to use a paper towel soaked in alcohol on the end of a stick. And it's important to take a big deep breath before you put it in your mouth and then immediately blow it out. Uh, hold it about three or four feet away and slightly up. <laughs> this is the unpleasant part. You have like oobleck in your mouth. It's hard to get out. Swishing water really helps, but don't swallow it. <laughs> 